set up symbolic breakpoints. Oh, first of all, let's go back and um, I know that uh, there we had trouble doing uh, frame variables. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here, set a breakpoint here, here, here. All frame variable is, is really a dump from the current uh, um, from the current class, right? That's all it is. It's a dump from the current class. Okay, so you can go through here in your project. You should have some code <coughs> on this project, and it, and everything is there. Everything from this controller is there. Okay. So now, um, another thing that we want to do is. Um, uh, let's let's kind of comment this out. Um, so let's go our uh, here. We're gonna do a uh, symbol. So basically, there are times when you want to set breakpoints. You know, you have the function name. You don't know where all the functions are. Now you can place a breakpoint everywhere where the function is called. Right. So um, let's do this. Symbolic breakpoints. Uh, method name. Let's see if we have um, fetch data. Okay, you can do that, and we'll get a breakpoint every place where this is called. So, um, this is the first place where we have our breakpoint, right? Um, Dispatch go quite all oh, fetch data right here, right? <laughs> I'm looking dead at it. Okay. Um let's see. Um, and if we go here, um, you know, this is all, everything that's connected to it, okay? Lazy image networking service dot fetch data. And you can also do this, you can also set the same thing for other methods that are in here. So look, let me show you symbolic breakpoints. We can find other ones. View did load, networking service, you know, uh, anywhere certain um, certain classes or certain methods are, are displayed, view will appear. Oh, oh, okay. Or view to load. I don't know. Um, you can do view up here. You can you do view B I D L O A D. Right. View to load. Um. Oh, let me cancel this. I'm gonna mute that one. Oh, this thing is taking forever. And go here, and it's view controller. Where am I being stopped? Okay, well, this is the first one where I'm being stopped. And view did load. This is the second one right here. View did load. Okay. So um, that explains those. And of course, when you want to um, get rid of these, right? You go here. Um, where is my? Uh, there you go. There you go. I had the right click on, left click on here, and delete my breakpoint. Same thing right here. I need to delete my breakpoint. So. You know, again, when you click here, symbolic breakpoint, um, into the function right here, the function that you're looking for. And of course, there are other things, uh, your condition, and you can also do an action. So check this out. Here's what we're going to do. Let me get rid of this. Delete. And I'm just going to put a breakpoint here. Okay, 
So now um, when I do this breakpoint, what I'm going to do is um, on view did load, I'm going to set this value, right? So we have text title label. And um, there are times when you may need to for some type of testing purpose, instead of changing the code, you might want to inject it or remember or change the value um, um, when you when you use a breakpoint. So you don't want to actually change any code, but you want to alter um, what you what how you want to alter how the um, how the app works for testing purposes. So I'm gonna give you an example of doing that. Um, again, someone might describe mm -hmm. this as inject is injecting data in it. Whatever, I don't know. So um, the breakpoints in view to load, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click here. And you see this right here, right? There's your condition. You can, um, I'm not gonna get into that. Change action to debugger command. And I'm going to say E, that's short for expression. You can say expression if you want. E self dot, um, uh title label title label dot text equals um i'm gonna say break break point functionality f-u-n-c-t-i-o-n-a-l-i-t-y okay and so what we can do is this, I'm, I'm gonna run it. And here I am, it stops right there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go past this. And as you can see, it changed this to say breakpoint functionality, just like I injected it, right? So I don't have code that dictates within the app. I inject this information into this text label using a breakpoint. So, and if you want to kind of like go by this, you can also let me say, I'm gonna say test two, right? Test two. And I'm gonna put automatically continue so that it doesn't stop on the breakpoint. Right. See, so this is in case you ever need for testing purpose purposes to change a value on the fly, right? Or change the value of a property or change something that's going to go to a controller and display something. You might want to see how it looks. You might want to see if a certain method is handling um, certain values properly. You know, you might have a crazy bug that's causing you problems. And this is the way to maybe troubleshoot it, right? Um, yeah. So I think that's it for this. On to the next. On uh, the next one, we're really going to get deep into um value types um as well as reference types and um debugging memory leaks using instruments and um in the leaks tool so we're on to the next